Hey, Tom from Splitboard HQ with another quick comparison video. This time we're looking at the Spark standard bindings versus the Pro model bindings. So in both the Arc and the Surge, you have the option of doing a standard binding, which is super reliable, but comes in a little bit lower price point, or the Pro model binding, which is all about shaving weight. Looking at the Pro model, they do this in both the Arc and Surge, and all the changes are more or less the same. First thing you'll notice is potentially a difference in the materials overall. The base plate remains the same, but the heel loop, they've gone with a higher grade aluminum, the same aluminum they use on the Ibex Pro model. It's a higher strength, which allows them to really thin it out and create a thinner heel loop overall, again, saving weight. The other really noticeable thing is the different colored hardware. They've gone to all aluminum hardware. It's pretty amazing when you pick up the bag of hardware, it feels incredibly light. Uh, it's certainly counting grams, but you do notice the weight savings when you're comparing, you know, the standard stainless steel hardware versus the aluminum stuff. It's a noticeable weight savings. One of the other small things they've done, again in the name of weight savings, is recessing out the stainless steel pins for your touring bracket. So they've recessed those all the way through, again saving a few grams here and there. The other big ones, more carbon fiber in the nylon blend for their high back. So a little bit stiffer feeling, but a little bit more durable and, and a bit of weight savings there. The other big change you're gonna see is in the ankle toe adjuster straps and ladder straps. This is all done in PBEX. PBEX is really well known in the ski boot world. It's one of the materials that almost all ski touring boots are made out of. It's extremely lightweight, malleable, and does really well in cold temperatures as well. So I think with these upgrades, you're not just saving weight, you're probably also improving the durability in cold temperatures. So that's it for the Pro model. You're gonna see the same changes in both the Surge and the Arc binding. Again, the Pro model is all about weight savings. You're gonna see maybe some slight improvements in the durability with the straps and high back, but for the most part, Spark's just gone all out on saving you weight. And the more weight you can save on your feet, the better. So the only other difference really to talk about is price. You're gonna pay more for the Pro model comes in around $200, $210 Canadian difference between the standard in the ARC or Surge versus the Pro model in the ARC or Surge. Thanks for checking out our video comparing the standard Spark, ARC and Surge versus the Pro model. If you have any other questions, please hit us up or check us out on splitboardhq.com.